cooking. I'm your host, Cindy Schumacher. On today's show, we'll be making summertime beef kebabs, million dollar rice, exotic spinach salad, and summer fruit crisps. So let's get started. Uh, I have rinsed a cup of wild rice, and we're going to get that going on the stove with three cups of chicken broth. So we're going to bring this to a boil and then we'll cover it and we want to simmer it for 45 minutes. You want your rice you cook just pretty much like you do a pasta, kind of an al dente, just not real mushy. You want it to just be just a little bit firm, tender to the bite. So we'll start on the, on the summer fruit crisp. This is um, an ideal time of the year to make this and because the fruit is so good and it's all in season. So we're going to start by making the oat topping with um, three-fourths cup of old-fashioned oats, one-third cup of all-purpose flour, one-fourth cup of light brown sugar packed, okay, and we want a half teaspoon of kosher salt. If you don't have kosher salt, you can use table salt or sea salt. It's not vital, but, but that's what the recipe calls for. Um, and we also need um, a teaspoon of freshly grated lemon, lime, or orange zest. I'm using lemon, and that'll go in with the fruit. salted butter. Okay, I'm, this recipe asks you to use a food processor, but it works just as well if you do it the old fashioned way. Mix your ingredients with your beater and then we'll cut the butter in with, uh, we'll of course cut it in with a knife and then I'll get out my pastry blender. And you want to get this just so that it's evenly distributed so you don't have chunks of butter uh, anywhere in your mixture. This dessert is, is as beautiful as it is delicious by the time you combine the different colors of fruit. It, it just is a little bit of a twist on an apple crisp or a blueberry crisp or whatever. Now since I'm doing this the, the old fashioned way by hand, I've already incorporated the, uh, the fourth cup of the oats. You normally would start, if you're using a food processor, you would start with three fourths cup and then you would work in the final fourth cup of oats once, you're, once you've got everything done. But we're doing the whole thing together the old fashioned way. This is uh, something you can make up in advance too, or if you want to serve it warm, you can even serve it with a little bit of ice cream on the top, but I, I usually like to do a dollop of Cool Whip or whipped cream. I'm just kind of 
few more chunks here to get rid of. I'm going to put a lid on my rice that's starting to boil and then I'm going to turn it down to a, a, a lower temperature. Now if you want a copy of any of these recipes, if you have internet, you just go to the Valley homepage, www.valleytel.net, and you'll see the Country Cooking Cow on the right. You click on that, that's where you find the recipes. If you don't have internet, give the girls at Valley a call, they'll be happy to get you a copy. Okay, that's pretty good. We'll set this aside, and then we'll combine the fruit. You can use any combination that you want. You can use just stone fruit. I'm using I, I actually like to combine, so I'm, you need eight cups of fruit. What I did was I did two, 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 and two. I did two cups of peaches that I peeled and slivered. I've got sliced strawberries, two cups. I pitted red cherries, and that's two cups. And I, I have rinsed and drained two cups of blueberries. Okay, I've got a teaspoon of freshly grated lemon zest here. We're going to add two tablespoons of lemon juice in here again. You can use orange juice if you want to make it a little sweeter. Um, I, I kind of figure with the, the fruits that I've got, you know, they're pretty well sweet anyway. So we're going to do two tablespoons of lemon juice. You can use lemon, orange, or lime. Need another pinch of kosher salt. Let's do a shake. We need a cup of sugar. it a bit and then I'll add the other half. We need two tablespoons of cornstarch. You want to keep stirring until you get so you don't see white anymore. I don't know if you can see this as we're mixing. It looks like this. We're going to put it in a 9 by 13 pan. So it looks like this. We're going to take a quick break while I clean this up and then we'll finish it up. We'll be right back. Blazing fast broadband internet from Valley is now available and better than ever. Let us help you decide which speed is best for you. The 50 meg speed would be sufficient for one to four devices mainly emailing and surfing the web. Our 100 meg speed works great for five to eight devices and multiple users streaming and downloading video. 
If you have eight devices or more that are simultaneously streaming or gaming, or if you have a medium-sized business, the 250 meg speed would work best for you. For extreme heavy home or work from home use, or if you have a medium to large business using 15 or more devices, you may want to consider our 500 meg download speed to fit your needs. And if you're a home or business that needs it all, we have our 1000 meg, 1 gig broadband internet speed. Call our office today at 437-2615 and talk with one of our staff members to pick the speed that's best for you. Okay, we're going to crumble the topping. And this, I've got my oven preheated at 375. And we're going to bake it for about an hour. You keep an eye on it so it doesn't burn. And like I said before, you, you don't have to use the fruits that I did. I just did it because it just looks so pretty. But if, the, if you have other fruit that you like, that you want to use, uh, you could have some variables. I think you could even probably stir in a little rhubarb if you wanted to. There you go, going in the oven. gears over here and we're going to mix up our salad dressing. This is a, a sesame and poppy seed dressing, which is unusual because normally you hear of a poppy seed dressing or a sesame seed dressing, but this actually uses two. So we need a third cup of sugar. Two tablespoons of sesame seeds. One tablespoon of poppy seeds. One and a half teaspoon of grated onion. A fourth teaspoon of Worcestershire. We're, we're in our new house, as you can see. I have a plug-in, but it's not hooked up yet, so someday I'll be able to face you when I do this kind of stuff, but until then, I kind of have to have my back to you a little bit. So, we need a fourth teaspoon of paprika. A half cup of vegetable oil. and a fourth cup of cider vinegar. They tell you when they make this to add the, the vinegar last. I always add the oil last so it stays blended a little bit better. So I'm gonna give this just a little bit of a stir.
smaller so we can get it in the refrigerator and start it to chill. Blenders are always kind of hard to use a spatula because they've got all the grooves, but a smaller spatula works a little better than a larger one. this chilling. I have eight cups of spinach that I have stemmed. If it's smaller spinach, the leaves are smaller, you can just leave them whole. If they're the big leaves, then you may want to tear it up. I'm just leaving it whole. I just think it looks a little prettier. So um, we have a large kiwi that I have thinly sliced. We'll sprinkle that around in here. This has a lot of color and a lot of flavor. It's just a, a wonderful summertime salad. Got peaches. Strawberries. I thinly sliced. And then it calls for a mango. They they had a mango when I went shopping for my groceries for this show. It was a little bit ripe, so it's a little bit soft, but it's the flavor is definitely there when it's riper. I'm just gonna kind of lightly toss it with my hands. And then we'll just set this aside so we're ready to eat. I'm going to take a quick break and clean up and we'll start assembling the shish kebab. We'll be right back. We're going to start assembling the kebabs. I, I had to marinate them because you're supposed to marinate them for 24 hours, give or take a little bit. You know, as long as they marinate for at least 12 to 24 hours, I think you're good. I'm going to tell you what goes in the marinade because there's no way that we could have done all this, uh, you know, in this time frame. But the marinade is two cloves of garlic pressed. And if you don't have a garlic press, you can buy the garlic in the jar, a cup of vegetable oil, a fourth cup of soy sauce, a fourth cup of Worcestershire sauce, fourth cup of Dijon mustard, a fourth cup of fresh lemon juice, or um, if you if you want to use it in the bottle, that's okay because with the other ingredients you're going to be you're going to be good. One to two teaspoons of coarsely ground black pepper. So we're going to start uh, assembling the shish kebabs. Uh, I'm going to start, I usually start with a meat for my first one and you can use wooden skewers, you can buy wooden skewers in the grocery store. I have some metal ones, I'm going to start with those and then I have a green pepper, a red pepper and a yellow pepper that I have cut into chunks and you want them to be fairly big so that they don't fall off and cherry tomatoes. I'm going to put another chunk of meat on. I usually do, um, depending on, you know, on how many people you're serving, I usually do three or four chunks of meat. Um, onion, I'm using a sweet onion. This is a, a Vidalia. If you can find Bermuda onions, that would be great. Actually, let's do something a little more colorful here before I put on a white mushroom. Just you want, you want the eye appeal in, in here too, so you want to kind of vary your colors. One more 
meat on here. This is a five pound sirloin tip roast that I have cut into um, decent sized chunks. Like I said, the smaller, then you're gonna have trouble with it falling apart. So it looks kind of like this. And they don't have to be identical. You can just kind of uh, skewer your, your ingredients and Be careful so you don't jab yourself. Okay, so I have another one done. Uh, we'll take a quick break while I finish skewering these and we'll be right back. Valley is now offering updated digital TV packages and prices. Ask us about the brand new Choice TV package. Call Valley today at 437-2615. I have three tablespoons of butter that I've melted in the pan and we're going to start sauteing the half pound of mushrooms. I'm using uh, shiitake mushrooms here. We'll get those sauteing. And then the rice has been cooking for about 45 minutes. I'm gonna to toss in two tablespoons of butter and we'll just set that aside. And when the mushrooms are done, then we'll combine it. And then this will bake in the oven for just a, a real slow oven, about 250 degrees for about 20 minutes, just to blend the flavors a little bit. We started the grill. The shish kebabs are ready to go in. You can see right here, we've got lots of color and uh, lots of delicious flavors together. So. We'll take a quick break and we'll be throwing the shish kebabs on in just a minute. We'll be right back. Okay, we're going to combine the rice. Grab a spatula here. I have my sauteed mushrooms. I had sauteed them for about four minutes just so that they get a little tender. Then we're going to season this with salt and pepper. If you want to use uh, seasoned salt, you can. If you want to use coarse ground pepper, whatever. But uh, you want to season it to your own liking. I, I'm always a little more comfortable under seasoning because people can always add, but you can't remove salt. So uh, pepper you usually don't have that much of a problem with, but salt is just a little bit touchier. Toss it in our pan. You can double this recipe too if you have a bigger crowd. So it looks like this, going in the oven. 250 for about 20 minutes, and by then the shish kebab should be done. And I see our crisp is ready to come out of the oven. And it looks delicious. Hey, 
I'm going to run out and check the shish kebabs and see how they're doing. I'll be right back. Internet is here. Valley now has higher broadband speeds of up to one gigabit. Get the bandwidth you need for all your devices at one time. Gaming with no lag time. Video stream your favorite movies instantly in HD quality. Video chat with friends and family without interruption. Download your favorite music and photos in seconds. All on our 100% fiber optics network. Valley offers managed Wi-Fi and backup services too. Bringing together all the services you need. Valley Telecommunications Cooperative. We're going to pull out the rice. Looks like we're ready to dish. Get some color on there. You can toss your salad or uh, serve the dressing on the side if you're not going to use the whole thing at, at one time. Dish some rice here. And you can let the people stir themselves with a the shish kebab or you can take it off. Uh, we'll just kind of set one on the side here. The crisp is still a little bit warm so it's going to fall a little bit but there we go we have our summertime beef kebabs our million dollar rice our exotic spinach salad and our summer fruit crisp thank you for joining us today on this edition of country cook and we hope to see you next time <music>